I'm Josh Klein with Cole, my partner. And Hello. today's show, on today's show, we have Daniel Hesse as a guest. It's a pleasure to be here. Tran- transplant <laughs> from Wisconsin, living in Illinois now. With what kind of jersey do you have on tonight, Daniel? Uh, this is uh, this would be a Green Bay Packers jersey, Josh. <laughs> Dan's a Packers fan, <laughs> so is Cole. So I'm getting tag team tonight in the Josh and Cole hole. Dan, thanks for coming on the show, bud. Having the courage. Yep. Comes and it goes. That's good. That's good. What you, what? So we're stuck in a. What's he putting on now? <laughs> Did he yeah. take off his shirt? No, he's full. I put on a, 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 a mid hat. A fuzzy a, hat. A, it'll be warm in the Chicago winter. That's perfect. Looks like the fans are coming back on the field, but we had a rain delay, so we decided to hop on. We've got uh, Tony Romo and Jim Nance up in the booth. Doing a Thursday great night special. We got the color rush going on again. Yeah, not a lot of color, though. Packers Bears, best not color lot, rush game of the year. Not a lot of color going on. Packers. Neon white and neon navy. <laughs> yeah, the Packers are something else. How do you guys feel about Tony Romo? You think he's calling a good game or no? Dan, I'm going to let you respond first. Uh, I've got a feeling he's probably going to be the best announcer of the next 10 years. And he knows football. He's excited about it. And he's well-spoken. And you guys, that's you like just... him better? Go ahead. Sorry, Cole, no, go ahead. No, go, Josh. Oh, you like him better than uh, Phil Sims? Dan? Uh, I do like him more than Phil Sims. You know, he played for America's team. He's from Wisconsin. He's from Burlington, <laughs> Wisconsin. He is. He is. I went to a a burger place in Burlington. I can't remember what it's called, but it's literally wall to wall Tony Romo in there. It's kind of it's, it's kind of sickening to be honest. And he went to uh, Eastern, right? Eastern Illinois. That's correct. Yeah, I mean. You know, Phil Simms stayed the obvious, like I said, and uh, I think Tony's doing a good enough job. Like, like Dan pointed out, he's uh, he's excited. He's excited to be in the booth. We need something different, you know. He's excited. He loves. I've noticed he loves to do the prediction calls. Like he always calls the next play. He sees he sees what's yeah. going on the line of scrimmage, and he tells you what's going to happen before it happens, which is kind of cool because i mean obviously he has that brilliant football mind that he can kind of evaluate right. the field and just right say you know it's gonna be a run to the left or run to the right or or i bet they play action here or whatever but um yeah no i i, I think he's doing an okay job so far yep. pretty decent yeah. a lot better than yep. fucking rex ryan's first game did you watch rex that ryan was, he was awful it was awful i mean I, first time go around but tony just seemed to naturally be into it but Rex Ryan was just uh, – he was stuttering his words, yeah. and every time he described the play, it was real boneheaded. Well, you could so. tell he wanted to say something, you know, because he's so used to being, you know, what saying whatever the the hell he wants, right? Like, he's he's right. he's one of those freewheeling kind of guys, and now he has to censor himself. So You can tell he's totally censoring himself. Yeah, he's himself. holding himself back. So it yeah. just doesn't come out natural at all because that's not who he is. So – you boys are both Packers fans. Can you guys both tell me a little bit about how you both, you know, became a Packers fan? Hesse, you're from Wisconsin, so I'd like, I'd like to start with you first. I mean, was it natural Maybe choice? choice? It was. Uh, it was a lot the obvious choice. I mean, the it only was, choice. It's a. It's a way of life in Wisconsin. Yeah. It's, it's, tell it's us more man. than football. Tell us. It's, it's six months out of the year is devoted to Packers 24 seven for sure. Um, my first Packers memory oh boy. is that I can vividly remember is definitely Super Bowl 31 okay. in my Godfather's basement on a, you know, a 20 inch tube television with about <laughs> 40 screaming drunk adults yep. and I would have had five or six years old Dan Hesse running around screaming. Yeah. I mean, it was it's just how things were. Yeah, I, I was actually in northern Wisconsin too when they won, and um, 
my I, I remember my dad going out to to he he's more of a Bears fan, but obviously being in the area we um we're just kinda getting into it. So he goes outside and like these dudes are just ripping around in snowmobiles, just like going absolutely bonkers and um I don't know. It it, it was a it was a cool memory to be up there for that. Um for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Um so my origin story is not as probably as as straight and and straight straight to the point as as dance but i mean really it is more of a family affiliate affiliation my my grandpa and my dad's side of the family did live near lake geneva so near they may have lived near burlington where mr tony roma hails from and i love that your dog is making out with you during the podcast <laughs> sweet girl um she just loves that hesse she loves the back where's her packer jersey by the way oh. She doesn't have a Packers jersey. She has a taco costume. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. We just bought Zucchini a Yoda costume, so we'll see how that works out. Um, so, you know, family hails from Wisconsin. You know, I've lived in the Chicagoland area my whole life, but um, definitely gravitated more towards Brett Favre is God growing up and all that sort of stuff with, with my right. grandpa more than anything else. So just kind of – gravitated towards green bay and I, I i think i made the right choice what do you think dan well i think you made a superb choice <laughs> players are coming out onto the field yeah, I'm watching. so can you guys uh talk a little bit about how uh what was your first game experience like if you've been to a packers uh, bears game even um what kind of experience that was like well, my first Packers game was, I believe, in the approximately 2002. My <laughs> uncle has very Holy similar smokes. to Sarah Pavula, always mentions the uh, Milwaukee or gold package. It's got the two home games a year, season tickets. And we watched the Packers beat the Lions approximately 35 to 7. And Perfect. It was amazing. Gotcha. It's always fun when your your team scoring touchdowns when you're at a game. Totally. Nothing like it. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a Bears Packers game, but I've seen plenty of Bears game. But Cole, have you? You know, Lambo. You yeah, remember your first I mean, trip? Yeah, mine was more, um, probably more recent. Maybe 2010 was the first time I went there. Um, it was Packers Raiders. So, I mean, the, I've been to Bears games. I've been to Packers games. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm being a little bit of a, you know, a homer when it comes to Packers. But really, you gotta you gotta go to Lambeau. I mean, it's 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 got a different feel to it for sure. It's got you know that college atmosphere. We were parked next to these two dudes from Oakland that were there to support the Packers, which I thought was awesome. Everyone's like sharing food, sharing. Yeah sharing drinks just like it's just a huge party in the in the Heck lot yeah. so everyone's having a good time everyone's getting along you know and then you get in the building and um you know i i love the way that lambo is designed it's like a really uh wide bowl but it it doesn't have a lot of high sides so really wherever you sit you actually got a pretty decent view um there's no there's no real nosebleeds there i mean there's maybe a few spots where it's a little rough but for the most part, if you're in a seat, you're seeing the field, you're you're enjoying where you're at and all that good stuff. And Josh just dropped off again, so we can continue on with our love fest here, Dan. But okay. um I they won big. I think the final score was like fifty six to fourteen or something. That was when Carson Palmer was on the Raiders and he was that's when that he like retired for a while and then he came back. So that was like his first season back. Oh yeah. So he was like god awful. Uh, so for a first game experience, just seeing that complete destruction of another team was kind of awesome. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can get Josh back in here. But yeah, um, I absolutely adored my first experience. It was it was awesome. I've been back almost every season since. I think I skipped maybe one season. Um, so I'm going again this year, um, t the weekend prior to Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go see the Packers Ravens uh, this year. So 
It'll be a good. Should be a good matchup. Yeah. Beat down, yeah. My uh, my wife is for whatever reason a, a huge Ravens fan, so um, oh, so it'll be, it it works out. Um, yeah. So we got players entering the field. I think the game's about to start again. It's fourteen nothing right now. Um, really not a lot of offense from Green Bay. They really haven't been on the field too much. <laughs> yeah, a lot of uh, fluky plays. What did you think about um, Adam's soup kitchen? Adam's soup kitchen? I didn't see that. What What are you talking about? Adam touched down his oh, celebration. Okay, I missed it. I, I must have missed it. What was he doing? It was, probably a, it was a take on the eating the cereal, but he was, yeah. he was, he was ladling, uh, ladling, the soup? He was ladling into the line. They came up with their trays, and he was ladling soup, soup for them. Nice. Nice. I, I just saw something on, I think it was like ESPN, that Starlin Castro, a different sport, plays for the Yankees, former Cub, did mm. like a fake, like a full on fake interview in the dugout. Did you see that? Like, no, I didn't. <laughs> they took, they took like a Gatorade rack and they put it on the guy's shoulder like it was a camera, and the you know all the players like gather around him. So that was pretty good. Um, I like that they put cameras in the dugouts this season. Yeah, that was so fun. Yeah, totally. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm glad that celebrations are back in general. To be honest. Yeah. I, uh, I definitely miss that. Yeah. From a, from a, you know, a fan experience, just kind of wanting to watch something a little bit lighthearted, right? Like, I feel yeah. like they've tried to suck the, the fun out of football with all these. I mean, obviously they're making the game more or yeah. attempting to make it more safe, which I totally understand. But in the yeah. same vein, it's it's kind of impacting some of that that funness to it. Yeah, so. definitely. So, Josh, and we got you back. Away, got I'm back. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, we can't see you, but I can hear you. So that that'll do. So we were just we were just reminiscing, just talking about um, Devonte Adams touchdown and all that good stuff. Keep- keeping the show going because if one man dies then the other the other guys got to pick it up that so i appreciate 100% that 100 percent accurate um yeah we got players warming up in the field we're just getting over so it's really it's about nine o'clock here central standard time we're only through the first quarter so we're in for we, we're in for a we, long evening here the first quarter is over now right first quarter is we over. have a few seconds left i thought it was over okay. yeah yeah, it's like a first halftime, like they said. Yeah, totally. So fourteen nothing. Bears not doing much. They had one drive where they looked decent, and then there was that fumble. So a lot of turnovers, a lot of sloppy play. I, I'm, you know, the fans obviously have something to do with this. Glennon not not being able to call the plays. Wide receivers not lining up where they need to. You know, Cohen and and Howard really weren't that big of a factor. I think. Howard had a couple of decent runs in the first quarter, but, you know, really. The defense is doing their thing, and the, Mike Glennon looks terrible. And it's only a matter of time before we see Mitchell. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll start him next week for sure. Right. Yeah, well, with the, with the you know, the 10 days off or whatever it's going to be, you know, it gives you plenty of time, especially if this game continues to trend as it, appears to be i mean if he mounts a, a comeback then it's obviously hard to make that argument but otherwise you figure you know they lose by double digits it makes a good case to bring in mitch next next week i think they play the vikings next yeah the thing Just, i'm looking at as the players come back out on the field to see if ty montgomery made his way back out yeah or not. they're saying a chest it looks like he pulled something when he was getting yeah he was getting pulled to the sideline so that could be big for sure if yeah. they don't have a running game i mean yeah. they've given williams a little bit of work so far but nothing yeah you know he hasn't looked too exciting good call has to be the run pass threat of uh, montgomery totally so i told you guys about this new segment basically uh, who you got um but speaking of Ty Montgomery, this is what made me remember. Uh, so basically, you just kind of pick one or the other. But Ty Montgomery, I was on the list. Okay. I had Ty, Ty Montgomery versus Howard slash Cohen because you don't know who's getting the touches there just yet. I mean, Howard looks like the guy. But Cohen comes in, does his little, uh, you know, uh, catching and end rounds and all that. But 
before I thought of this question before Ty Montgomery got hurt, obviously. But uh, who, who would you rather have? Who you got? For me, um, are we talking uh, strictly football or are we talking fantasy football? Interesting. Yeah, good spin. Interesting. Hesse, good yeah. spin. I was thinking real life, to be honest. But okay. uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, and Montgomery's weird because he was a converted wide receiver, right? He's still getting a, a lot of targets. He's getting a good amount of catches. And in this PPR league, he's really been paying off. Yeah, he's on your team, right? He is. He is. He's at 2.8 points after, like, I, w- I don't even so know you, what to call it. So you it. really care if he comes back in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I really care. He does. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. As he's. He's my opponent this week. Yeah. Oh, and when, oh, exactly. when I saw him walk into the locker room, I got real excited. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, Hassey. Injuries are a thing. But okay. Uh, yeah. Real life. Just, real just, life. just run the ball. Montgomery looks good, but it's weird. He's still 80 something, right? What's his number? 88. 88. Looks yeah. weird, man. I, I, you know, I got to take Howard just because I think he's the, he is the, the running back in that mix right he's got the body he's got the he's got the downward you know the he's a downhill runner right he's always going to land forward he's always going to get those extra yards he's a true running back but i i i like dan's spin on it because if i'm going if i'm going fantasy i'm really especially in a ppr league i'm 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 debating heavily to take montgomery but real life football i definitely got to go with with jordan howard is Montgomery really catching that many balls though? I mean, I don't, I don't pay attention, but has he? Well, is he's doing he... pretty good, right? He's been doing real good. I, um, last week he had a real good game. I think he scored, he scored thirty-one and nineteen, I believe. That's not bad. Is that right? Those are, those are consistent 19, numbers. Nineteen, twenty-nine, and thirteen last week. So we're pretty much. I mean, are are we? Are we rolling with Howard on this, or? I'm going Howard. Yeah. Hesse. You know, I think I'm gonna go tied. Okay. God bless it. All right, in their prime, <laughs> in their prime, Brandon Marshall or, or Jordy Nelson. Oh boy. In their prime. Well, that's not even. I mean, Marshall was not in his prime with the Bears. I mean, he had some decent hey. years, but. Hey man, he was he my, got his, Miami. He got his catches. He Miami, got his catches. Miami was prime Brandon Marshall for sure. He that's when he broke the uh, most catches in a game. It was like twenty two or something ridiculous. Yeah. So I'll sure. take prime Jordy Nelson over Bears prime Brandon Marshall. Whoa, bold talk, Hesse. Definitely Jordy Nelson with this one. That jo- Rogers to Jordy connection is is yeah, mythic. It's yeah. um. But okay, let's okay. Put put how many times put Brandon Marshall. Game, how many times that made the difference was? Come on, put Brandon Marshall with Aaron Rodgers six years ago. Okay. Oh, well, right. that that didn't happen. So how? Would we we welcome him onto the squad. <laughs> you homers. One of uh, one of uh, Brandon's personalities could have taken over and really hated Aaron. Curveball, Farver Rodgers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I boy. see. You probably don't even remember him. The old gunslinger versus the protege. Yeah. What are we he talking wasn't... about here? Are we talking about just better quarterbacks? Because uh, Aaron yeah. Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is a better quarterback than Brett Favre. Brett what Favre throws a throws a far though. He's a gunslinger. Well, with with Aaron Rodgers, you get all the the awesome plays and the, the shovel awesome passes. Moments. Shovel passes of Brett Favre with a lot fewer interceptions exactly. and a lot less hard. Exactly. Break. Exactly. He's a better quarterback. Favre Aaron Rodgers. Far was yeah. probably more entertaining just because you never knew what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you knew it was going to. He was going to throw interceptions and touchdowns. That's pretty much all that was going to happen. But quarterback play, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, the guy is the guy is insane. He's pretty accurate, right? He's pretty great. It's but insane. so. But, Essentially, you guys for off the field issues are picking disowning one's family instead of sending dick pics. Is what you're saying. That is correct. That's correct. 
<laughs> disowning one's family. I mean, what is that even? It means he doesn't go over for holidays. Yeah. He doesn't where, talk to any of them. Josh, where, yeah, where, where, where his terrible. family? Then, <laughs> he wanted us to link arms. Were you I linking don't... arms with your girl? There, I just. Yeah. Me and Sweet Girl? Yeah. No, she was just sitting on my lap. Is that what they did? I didn't I didn't really see him linking arms on the TV. No, but no one really did? participated. No shit. Well, are I you serious? I saw a few people's Snapchat stories who were at the game, and they were passing out some literature basically saying, don't do any of that. Just stand up for the national anthem. Right. Holy smokes. So that's, okay. a, that's a very Trump-heavy county, by the way. So, uh, yeah. you know, you're... The, the chance don't do anything working. that may be construed as protesting yeah. that's not what we do in brown county exactly whoa maybe maybe if brett and aaron asked then maybe they'd get a little bit more participation probably not huh probably not interesting i didn't know that last last one though last one yeah uh jim mcmahon on the bears or jim mcmahon on the packers I mean, he won a Super Bowl with the Bears. <laughs> you right? guys, so. he won a Super Bowl with the Packers. He didn't win a Super Bowl with the Bears. Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> you guys, no, that one went over like a wet fart, basically, huh? All right, I thought that one was. Was good. he blind Shit. at that point or no? Uh whoa, no, uh, too soon, man. Uh, he's got a lot of things going on right now, so. But he know. can he can see right. It's just he's sense of delight, right? Uh, I look up and it's second and 20, and I don't know what's going on here. I got uh, first and 20. I think I'm delayed here. I'm watching over the phone. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, uh, they didn't do anything. I on got the first second time. and 20. Okay. Well, you guys are actually watching on televisions. I'm watching on my tiny. Okay, false start. Yep. Um, I, I, I love this segment, Josh. I think you need to bring this one back. Yeah, that worked out, especially because it just it hit so close to home with all of us. Right. The last one could have used work, but I thought it delivered it pretty well. Mm-hmm. But uh, so the second half has obviously started. Uh, keys to the game. Love doing that. Love seeing that in the in the beginning of uh, telecast. So the Bears going into this game, I thought the Bears defense, the front seven especially, could give that offensive line. Uh, you know, it's all banged up, uh, yeah. some trouble, and. It feels like when the Bears are in the Super Bowl, it's like, Jesus, if they could just do something to put together some offensive drives, they'd actually be in this game. And, I mean, they're only only down 14, but, uh, I mean, it's looking like they're going to go three and out and Rodgers is going to get the ball and they're going to score and it's going to be over uh, before halftime. I, I think, and to Dan's point, I think a lot of it is going to, going to be on Ty Montgomery. If he's not in, that changes their offense completely. So, um, I, 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 I want to say, cooner? no, go ahead. Don't they have a Cooner or, uh, you know, a, uh, they've got a rip. J- they got James they've Starks. Got a rip. Oh my God. It's the first, start. it's the first deep. Oh, he dropped it. The first deep ball that Glennon's ever thrown as a bear. Uh, <laughs> the wide receiver dropped it. I am oh, really, I'm really delayed. So sorry, um, Cole, we're blown. Spoiler for alert. You. Um, <laughs> no, um, I, I keys for the game for the Bears. I mean, they got a some offense. No more turnovers. <laughs> they got to get some offense. Um, yeah. They got to continue to put the pressure on Aaron Rodgers. They got to him once in that first quarter. They are, they're going to need to sack him like six or seven times this game to even have a chance. I got excited when they sacked him. They did. You know they 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 got him. They're coming after him. Um... So something that I always do, I, I just wanted to point this out, but it's something I always did at fantasy drafts, and I, I kind of stopped doing it because I think people just got weirded out. And the whole thing that reminded me was that Gangs in New York is on Netflix. Have you guys seen Gangs in New York? Certainly. So you remember in the beginning when the they're, uh, yeah, the butcher and uh, Liam Neeson and, you know, little Leonardo DiCaprio. But yeah. in the beginning of the film, they they like say these oaths. Uh, about combat and ancient laws and everything it's really cool so i used to i used to paste that in the espn talk box 
And then after about four years, I think it, it really weirded people out. And you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen the beginning of that? that I don't movie? know what it's you're like talking about, but I can see you saying some old-timey cryptic shit and people getting uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's it, it, So I stopped doing that. But uh, I just that I wanted to lead with that in the show, but we kept getting cut out and stuff. So really? sorry, boys. Next time. I thought that was gold. Next time. Next so, time Dan joins us. The other, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. The other topic that I had uh, jotted down. Dan Hesse? Oh, Dan Hesse's got our ratings like super up. Uh, would you like to talk about uh, if you guys are, are partaking and having a drink tonight or what the show is sponsored by? Cole, you, did you get any new sponsors for this week for us? Uh, Ice Mountain Sparkling? Yeah, delicious. Cherry. I've got Krombacher Pills. <laughs> uh, number one premium beer in Germany. That's a good beer. I've had that. I like the can on that. Uh, Williams is heard since now? Since 1803. Now we got Williams hurt. What's that about Williams? He's hurt. Oh, no. God damn it. Uh, I'm drinking some kind of strawberry cider. I stopped at Benny's and uh, got a couple different ciders. We can't see you, Josh, but we'll take your word for it. I'm not holding the can up. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just can't That's see you because your, your mic's off or your cam's off. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know why that is. So we're just rolling with it. Know, you we're, got a new uh, mic tonight, but. Maybe you got to get on Amazon and get that lightning deal on that camera too, buddy. Oh, you can sound, you can hear me crystal, crystal clear though, oh. right? Boy, you sound like a sweet little baby bird making a song. Yeah. So the production oh, value, you know, I audio. Switch to the pixel. you know, it's, it's, it's rough, but it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, kind of, kind of how we do things around here, Dan. Rough, but I it'll do. Was- yeah, we put a band-aid on this shit and then we just post it up. That's and exactly uh right. we wait for the hits. Um any other uh any other recap for the game? You guys uh So I'm playing I just want a fantasy update. I'm playing Rogers and Jordy and my wife has Cobb in and I'm going against Meredith this week. Cobb okay. already has a touchdown. So yeah. I have to root against Randall Cobb the rest of this game. Which I really don't want to do. He threw the touchdown to Cobb. He did. He did. Yeah. So I got Football I got a few over points. fantasy, man. Come I know, on. I know, I know, Dan. But why couldn't you have just thrown to Jordy? Jordy was there too. He loves Jordy. That's okay. He's gotta go. He's gotta go to somebody. He's got too many toys, but he's got a lot of toys. All right. Uh do you wanna stop this and come back to halftime or what would you like to do? I think we call it. I think we're good. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I got a last question. Go for it. All right. Would you name your uh, children after any uh, athletes or famous people? No. Really? No No. Aaron Rodgers Dixon? I said that I want to name my next dog Scotty Puppin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about great... Illinois coaches like Lovey Smith. So, are we talking about our pets' children? Is that okay, Josh? Sure. Yeah, I don't have any kids. So, Scotty Puppin's gonna gonna happen one of these days. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty good, buddy. Thank you. Dan named his dog apparently after fourteen famous people. So, I yeah. like it. I was just curious. You know, I I'm a big Seinfeld fan, so. Okay. I don't know if there's any wacky like we're gonna name him Seven or uh, Mantle or uh, Oprah. Oprah, you know. Well, so. we already have a dog named Zucchini, so that's true. Well, I think this is was a really good uh, good show. Yep. Uh, Dan, you were a gem, and uh, we can you know try to do this again on Sunday or whatever. But it was a good recap. Go Bears! Go Quick Pack. prediction: What do you got? Packers winning it. 28-14. I see. I'm thinking probably 14 zip. Oh. <laughs> so this just might as well go to bed now. I think it's gonna be shit. <laughs> Wrap game. it up. Wrap it up. Guess it's time for sleepy time. I like it. Uh I'll go. Now Blake Martinez is hurt. Everyone is getting hurt, Hesse. All right. We are, this... lo- we are losing everyone. 
This is great. I'll go 28, garbage time 17. Okay, fair enough. Who's the winner in that one, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Group it, Packers. Uh, Show us that jersey, Dan. Show it off. Oh, glorious. Bring it on home. You think it's Donald Driver, but it's not. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, hey, nice Donald Driver jersey. It's a real nice starter in good condition. Who the fuck is Mays? <laughs> I always get. <laughs> All right. And with that, good night, Great everyone. Show.